Hello and welcome to a bit of a different video. I am going away from adverts and doing a PIF review. This review is going to be about the company Think. Enjoy. There's going to be four categories for these. This PIF is Moments of Doubt and this is the rubbish one. Yes, sir. So, I'm like, would you mind stepping out of the car and doing a breath test? Look, you had two pints, you're over the limit. That's a 12-month ban and a criminal record. Hey, it's company policy. I've got to let you go. I know there's only 20,000 on the clock, but that's my final offer. That's just great, Matt. No licence, no job. Now what? So, what's it going to be? Ay, 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 ay. What can I say about this one? Nearly all of the reviewers on the PIF community say this is the worst out of any public information film made in the UK. I see why it's pretty boring and it ha really has no effect. I mean, it's just a guy saying what could happen, which is, uh, is kind of boring and has no effect, really. Um, it's they did make another pub one, which is actually better, where um, it's like there the table's a car and it run, and it hits someone and yeah and he goes, uh, you don't have, it's, it takes less than you think to become a drink driver and I'm like that's better than this. This is just rubbish. The funny thing about this advert is he might not even be ordering beer. Here's a little uh, edit I did of it. Yes, sir. So, I'm like, would you mind stepping out of the car and doing a breath test? Look, you had two pints, you're over the limit. That's a 12-month ban and a criminal record. Hey, it's company policy. I've got to let you go. I know there's only 20,000 on the clock, but that's my final offer. That's just great, Matt. No licence, no job. Now what? So, what's it going to be? A packet of peanuts and a Coke, please. Because I'm new to PIF reviews, this is probably going to be a temporary category, and this is going to be the good one. This is called Crash, and it was only shown in cinemas, so that's why you'll see a little um, BBFC certification at the bottom. I have loved this PIF since I saw it on YouTube. It is so amazing. It's it's really good. It doesn't use that much effective stuff, but the thing that makes it good is how they mix it in with the music, which is the song Crash by the Primitives. Uh yeah, really good, really good I guess. Uh one of the best bits is the song immediately cuts out as he cra as he hits someone. The thing about the song there's one bad thing about this though. You know it's going to happen because they are using the song Crash. You pretty much know something like that's going to happen. Yeah, it's really good. It uses a pretty popular song, well, a pretty well-known song, and they put it in an advert, and it works pretty good. Well done, Fink and Transport for London. You, make an, you made a pretty good public information film. Don't give yourself a pat on the back because you made many, many more that are piles of turd like Moment of Doubt. On to the next public information film. Okay, this is the well-known one. This one is called Free Strikes. But I'm putting the pre-9pm version on because some people I show this to may be like, oh, you shouldn't be doing this type of thing. And they may find it gory. So, uh, if you want to see the post-9pm version, look it up on YouTube. But only do that if you're um, old enough or you can take it onto it. Richard didn't want to die, but he couldn't stop himself. The collision with the car didn't kill him, but he wasn't wearing a seatbelt, so he continued on his journey. 
When he hit the inside of the car, that didn't kill him either. But his internal organs carried on traveling until they hit his ribcage and his lungs were punctured and the main artery from his heart was torn. And that's what killed Richard. Okay, this one is on the well-known one because it is pretty effective because it gives the L's of the guy dying in a pretty horrible way. That's all I really have to say about this one. I remember watching it or seeing one of these editions as a little kid. Yeah, um... That's all I really have to say about it. I mean, the post-9pm version shows the... Well, he, how he dies, like, in his body. When it goes to, oh, it punched this and it did this. Yeah, um... This one works. Oops, forgot to mention. I also like how at the end the Fink logo is like a seatbelt where it goes... I like that bit. It's it's pretty cool. It's pretty good use of the logo. Now on to PIF number four. It's the scary one. You're going to know which one this is. It's Julie New Her Killer. Warning, this one is a little graphic because it shows... Um, it just shows when someone's, someone's head gets hit and a bit of blood comes out, meaning she's dead. Like most victims, Julie knew her killer. It was her son. He wasn't wearing his seatbelt. After crushing her to death, he sat back down. Think. Always wear a seatbelt. Hope you weren't freaked out. It's... It is kind of scary. It's scary... Um... There's quite a lot of bits about it that's scary. It's like... The kind of evil, like kind of lurking van, but it doesn't. It turns out it's not the van. It's the it's a car that comes out, like after the van goes. Um, her hitting her head getting hit is pretty scary, and also the girls screaming at the end. That's kind of a bit. Ugh. Um, yeah, this was this actually used to be owned by uh, another safety company called DETR. I don't know if you know about them, but they're another famous company that are a uh, famous bunch of people who made these kind of adverts. They're not around anymore. Yeah, so uh, they they had this, but then Fink asked, they, I think Fink asked if they could take it, so they took it. And this ad, it um, highlights the importance of rear seatbelt, rear, pa rear passenger seatbelts. 